The Ford Model T, manufactured from 1908 to 1927, was a marvel of engineering. It had an ingeniously simple cooling system called Thermosiphon. Let's get into it. The engine cooling system in a Ford Model T is much like any other car. Coolant circulates through the engine to absorb excess heat. The coolant is transported to the radiator where the air passing through it cools the coolant and then the cycle repeats. In 1909, the Model T received a performance mod, Water Pump Delete. Ford determined that a water pump was superfluous, so it was removed. These days every car has a water pump to circulate coolant through the engine. How did the Ford Model T manage without one? Henry Ford chose to use the convection characteristics of heated water to move the coolant through the engine and radiator. Warmer water is less dense and rises, and cooler water falls. So the water circulates naturally. It cools and falls down the radiator and into the engine, where it warms and rises to complete the circuit. Provided the engine doesn't produce so much heat that the thermosiphon system can't keep up, it's a wonderfully simple solution. By deleting the water pump, Henry improved the performance of the Model T by eliminating the parasitic energy normally consumed by the water pump. He also saved substantial manufacturing costs, removed the point of maintenance, and eliminated a failure mode. Brilliant. An aftermarket belt-driven water pump is a popular accessory that is added by many Model T owners. Their effectiveness is hotly debated amongst enthusiasts but Henry never intended for one to be installed. In 1928, Ford introduced the new Ford, the Model A. With double the power of the Model T, the new Model A engine needed a water pump. The brilliantly simple and effective Thermosiphon's time had passed. 